well, we've got dough. And don't you know, we've got an egg in a bowl. And uh, she's going to pour something on here. Could that be, looks like oil of some sort. You know, one of the biggest things I've learned when it comes to online videos is it's okay to say, hey, I don't know what I'm talking about. And when it comes to this video, this is definitely exactly that saying to a T. She's going to cut up this dough into slices. I'm still just worried about that little egg underneath that bowl. What's going to happen next? That egg is probably worth more than everything else you see on the table right now, at least with current prices. She's going to fold that bowl up and the egg, that last piece, going to cover up the rest. It looks like, oh, she's pulling it way over. What about that bowl underneath and the egg? That's what I want to know what's going on here. And uh, she's pushing it down and... Uh, is she, a, is she a witch? I mean, I know where, where's the bowl and the egg is what I want to know what's going on. I I just don't know. I, I think, is it gone forever? Is it like in a dimension? I don't understand. We've got shellless shrimp here. The tails are still on. We're going to probably take those off. I bet that's the next step. And it is indeed. We're going to throw those into a food processor with a little bit of salt and pepper. We're going to mince those up. You got a shrimp mince say that 10 times fast some scrambled eggs some mayo mix that up you've got a scrambled egg and mayo mixture with the shrimp and uh, looks like processed cheese okay the shrimp patty with cheese with eggs panko crusting and you're deep frying them that looks delicious with some mayo on a sandwich wait a minute three that's not uh, feasible or practical it would be delicious but there's no way you're eating all three of those in one bite they call him bayashi but I call him the masterly maestro of skillful cuisine. We've got raw tuna, and he's cutting it up big chunks, along with some very thick leeks. We're going to cut those up and put them in a pan. We're going to brown those up. It looks like he's dropping in some rice vinegar and other sauces in here. Going to bring those to a boil and then drop in the raw tuna. You're going to see that tuna turns just a little brown, but that's what happens when it gets cooked on the outside. He's got some noodles, and oh, look at this. He's throwing on a bunch of eggs. This man is is a millionaire with all of those eggs he's dropping on and the taste of the tuna. Now that's delightful. I wish he would have turned that tuna around for us to see how not fully cooked it was on the inside. And of course, Bayashi drinks it to the last drop. 10 out of 10. This video can be summed up in one single word. Bayashi. We've got the chicken breast. We're going to butterfly that open, cover it, and smash it down. Going to put some salt and pepper on top of that bad boy. Pat it down. And a whole block of brie. You know what's coming next. Bacon. And with Bayashi, you can never have too much bacon. He's wrapping that bad boy. Going to grate some garlic right on top with some garlic pepper. Looks like some paprika. Going to give it a little nice seasoned bath. And right in to the air fryer. And it's coming out nice and smoky. Got the toast and the mayo. The greens. The onions. The pasta sauce on top of that chicken breast. Smash it down. Cut it open. And see what's inside. We're going for a cheesy ride. Now the taste test. You know, Bayashi never cooks something he doesn't finish. More sauce on the cheese. He aims to please. And the first bite, he takes very large bites. Just like your mother. 10 out of 10.